Welcome everyone. In this video, I will show you how to make delicious fluffy dinner rolls and I will show y'all what my husband built and fixed for our chickens. Y'all, we had to move the garden. So, before we begin, I would like to say a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for your love, your grace, your mercy. Teach us, Father God, to be more thankful today. Show us your grace in our lives. Help us to see your grace through our circumstances and blessings in the midst of adversary. Help us to demonstrate to each other the peace, the love, and hope that you give. In Jesus Christ's name, amen, amen. Hey, if y'all like our videos, please like, share, and subscribe. You guys, I am on my way to track the supply. My husband, he's working in 100 degree weather out there. You guys, look, I have the air conditioning on in the car. Let me see if I can zoom in and show y'all how hot it is in Jacksonville, Florida today. Here is, here is the temperature reading y'all see that this is the temperature how how hot it is here today this is inside the car 97 degrees y'all that's because i cooled it down but it's like 99 degrees it is so 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 hot um i am on my way to track the supply to get some uh, more pine shaving. That's why I'm headed to track the supply so I can get some more pine shavings for the chickens. You guys, my husband, he did an excellent, excellent job. I didn't have to spend any money, uh, you know, like buying the uh, extra uh, chicken nesting boxes. You guys, so far, I'm gonna show y'all tomorrow because we took the eggs all this week and we had uh, quiche this morning. I cooked the quiche for us and we I used all the eggs except one. But I have one chicken, she lay like medium sized brown eggs. Y'all, this is where we at, tractor supply. And we're gonna get some pine shavings. Yep, this is tractor supply. We got a spot up front, so I won't have to carry those shavings a lot of places. So, and what I'm going to do, because the chickens are laying the eggs all over in the yard, um, what I am going to do is, I am going to get some, uh, some wooden eggs to use. And I'm going to put those in a nesting box so they will know... This is where you're supposed to lay the egg. And, you know, you don't have to uh, put them all over the yard. But, y'all, this is pine straw shaving. And this is, um, let me see. Oh, they're out of the other one. And this is the TSC shavings here. And they all $6.99. So, that's a pine shaving, the premium kind. And this one says premium, premium pine shaving also. I think one of them just, one of them is a light colored. And one of them is like very, very fine. Someone opened that one, but that's what it looks like. I don't think I want it that fine because of the chickens. I don't want them to eat it. So y'all, let's go inside. And we're going to get two of these pine shavings. And we're gonna get some fake eggs. So let's go in. On inside of Tractor Supply. Okay, you guys, we're at Tractor Supply and we're gonna get some uh, wooden eggs. We have our pine shavings. Let's see what chickens they have in stock. We have all of our chickens that we're gonna get this year, but we can always see what they have in stock. And because my chickens were a little bit dehydrated, this is what I got, y'all. I got some probiotics, and I also got uh, some electrolytes. I've been giving this to the uh, baby chicks, and this is what it is. 
and here is the probiotics that I've been getting right here so let's see what baby chicks they have in stock oh y'all look like they're orthologs let's see what they say all right Chanticleer. They're Chanticleer pullets. Yeah. So yeah, so we're gonna go over here and get some fake eggs. Some oh look at cute y'all. Isn't that beautiful? California whites and moran. So we're gonna get some wooden eggs so the chickens will know where to lay. Y'all, yeah, they have good feed here also at Tractor Supply. Let's see. I think I'm down the wrong aisle. But they have everything from horses and everything. So we're going to turn right here. Oh, hi. How you doing? Let's come this way. Oh, no, don't tell me they're out of the wooden eggs. Oh, wow wooden eggs y'all just the price for the wooden eggs but look like they are out oh. so yeah I don't see any anywhere All right, y'all, so we'll take what we have, and I'm going to go up front, and I'm going to ask them about the pine shavings. You guys, they have all kind of stuff here. So, we're going to take our pine shavings and hope we can find some wooden eggs somewhere. I may have to order them on Amazon. Y'all, they have these wonderful candles on sale. This one smells good. And this one is Garden Sage. It's on sale for $2.49. Garden Sage. So I think I'll try this one. But I don't see any ceramic eggs. Alright you guys. I am going to check out. And this is the Farmer's Almanac for 2025. Good book. So you guys, we're going to check out and we're going to go home and I'm going to show y'all how to make these wonderful, delicious, fluffy dinner rolls. These are the wonderful hot dinner rolls that I am going to show you how to make. They're very, very hot and they're easy to make and they are oh so delicious. All right, what you want to do is the first thing you want to do, you want to take your yeast and you want to put it in your room temperature or warm milk, but do not make the milk real hot because it will kill the yeast. So you put that in there. You're going to get that a good mix. Mix that up real, real good. Then the next thing you're going to do, you're going to take your uh, sugar and you're going to put your sugar over in here. And you get that a real good mix. Then we're going to set that aside for a second. Then you're going to take your flour. And you're going to put in your mixing container. Then you will add your salt. Take your salt. And you're going to put it over in there also. Get that a good mix around. And then the next thing after that, what you're going to do is you're going to take your butter and you're going to put that over in there. Then we're going to give this a good mix. So mix that up. Then 
Then the next thing you're going to do, you're going to take your, your yeast and milk. And what you're going to do to it, you're going to add a half a teaspoon of the butter extract. Half a teaspoon of the butter extract. See, it's the butter extract. Half a teaspoon of butter extract. Then we're going to use a teaspoon of the vanilla. Get you a good vanilla. These are the best dinner rolls. So you put that in there. You want to give that a good mix. Real good mix. You're going to put your egg in there. So, scramble that a little bit. Now pour your egg in. Then, what you do now is you cut your mixer on and you start making the dough. Side, make sure you get everything real incorporated. Now you put a little flour down on your surface. You take your bowl. And what you do is you take some butter and you go around and uh, you put it in your bowl. This will help the flour, help your uh, dough keep from sticking. We're going to knead the dough a little bit. See, it's kind of like tacky. Like. I'm using parchment paper so I won't have to uh, have a big messy cleanup. So what you do is, you know, and the dough is like light and fluffy. You can use all-purpose flour or you can use bread flour. I'm using all-purpose flour. Okay. Now the, uh, the dough is kneaded. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it in this here. And we're going to cover it and let it sit for... We're going to cover it and we're going to let it sit for about uh, an hour and a half. You can put it aside, cover it, and let it sit for an hour and a half and we'll come back and I'll show you guys what to do next. Our dough has risen. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take our pan and we're going to take some butter. We're going to go around and we're going to put it in the pan. You want to use butter because butter keeps the dough soft. Yeah, get that a good rolling. Now we're going to sit this to the side. Put a little flour on your surface. Take the dough. Drop it. We're going to need the dough a little bit more. Yes, a little bit more.
All right, guys, it's time to make these wonderful, wonderful little uh, dinner rolls. So what you do is you take some and you just cut it in half and you uh, roll a ball and tuck it under and put the tucked under side down and the smooth side up. Just knead and roll the dough and keep tucking it in over and over. Just keep tucking it in over and over and put the... Uh, Tuck the inside, face it down in your pan. And what you want to do, you want to space them a little bit apart. So, because they're going to rise again after we get through um, rolling up our dough balls, we're going to let them rise. We're going to let them rise for a second time, anywhere from 30, 35 to uh, 45 minutes. They'll uh, double in size. And then we're going to get ready and put them in the oven. After you get them in your pan, what you want to do is go ahead and cover them with some plastic and uh, this will just help them keep them warm and uh, help the dough rise a little bit faster if you cover it with plastic. You don't necessarily have to. You can leave it uh, your rolls uncovered in a warm location and they'll rise on its own anyway. So this is what you do for the dinner rolls and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna put this aside and let it rise I'm gonna go and get another pan I do have some uh, rolls left and cover it with something dark uh, if you do wrap it in uh, plastic this will help keep the uh, rolls warm and help the uh, yeast in the dough rise a little bit faster these are the extra rolls that I had these are delicious dinner rolls All right, everybody, our rolls have risen. They have risen to a very, very nice size. These were the extra ones that I had. I have 18 rolls. So we have let them, we have let them double in size. So I am going to stick it in a, um, bake it at 375 degrees for about 23 to 25 minutes. But after 20 minutes, check your rolls to see if they're done. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put them in a 375 degree oven. Fresh out of the oven. See these wonderful, wonderful rolls. So what you want to do is, when they come out of the oven, you want to take you some butter. And you want to put your butter all on your rolls. Butter your rolls up. Do them while they're hot so the bread will be soft and moist. Good, hot, delicious rolls. Look at there. You guys, they are so delicious. I know you guys can make them. Look at these beautiful dinner rolls. So, you guys, without further ado, let me show y'all the new chicken coop and what my husband is doing outside. Hey, everybody. I want y'all to see what my husband is doing. He's putting up the new, my husband is putting up the new chicken coop. Uh, he's been working on it today and working on this side of the yard. See, the baby chickens are in the cage and the other chicken, chickens are in the chicken room. And this is the temporary structure that he took down. This is all of the temporary stuff she's gonna throw that stuff out in the trash but this is our new chicken house that he is constructing Good job, babe. So yeah, this one goes here. He did a fantastic job and have a good idea for building this chicken coop, y'all. I'm just so amazed at, by the things that he do. So yeah, he's gonna cut this big bucket. What's wrong, babe? Oh, you getting nails out? I'm gonna cut it down this way. Yeah. I'll skip the nails. Now he's going to take this bin and he's going to cut it.
do have some chicken. <laughs> with the U shape because they won't be able to kick they won't be able to kick the pine straw out of there they do kick a lot but at least we'll fill them up with the pine straw and they'll have a soft place to lay the eggs they won't be as dirty because we're going to teach them to not poop in these but only to lay the eggs so I'm going to go get some fake eggs at Tractor Supply good morning so, good morning everyone I had to move my garden over this side because the chickens was eating all of our vegetables. So whatever uh, plants that I saved, this is all I saved, y'all. But I put some new seeds in the ground. We had to build this structure. My husband's so wonderful, y'all. He put this structure up to keep Maxi Poo. Oh, Panther, get out the pool and Panther Girl out. Y'all, it's been raining a lot here. And um, look at Panther's favorite place. She just gets in the pool. But you guys, I moved all of the vegetables over here. And I have the onion, the zucchini squash, the kale, the broccoli. I have a bell pepper and tomatoes over there and I have um, onion and zucchini squash here and I got uh, some Napa cabbage there no Jersey wake I think it's Jersey wake cabbage there and I put some corn in the ground you guys I put some corn there and this is what I had left over um, this is a sugar baby watermelon plant and this is the cucumber plant and uh, I had moved them here I had a huge array of plants and stuff so I kind of like uh, downsized a little bit with the plants and over in this bucket this is romaine lettuce this is my romaine lettuce maxi poo leave that alone you wet panther Y'all, look at this Thai basil. Isn't that gorgeous? The Thai basil. So, yeah. So, y'all, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to take y'all on the other side. I'm going to go here and pick up this. Check on my grapes. The raspberries this fall, y'all. The raspberries have uh, all dried up. The grapes. Still nice vine, but... Nothing that's wrong. Pick this up. <clears throat> but yeah, y'all. This is my garden. I want to show y'all the lemons. Look how big the lemons get. Look at that. Look at that lemon. Ponderosa lemon. And we have one here. Y'all, this tree. This tree is full of lemons. Look at that, y'all lemons and there's another one look at that lemons right y'all it's early in the morning see the sun is coming up i have already let the chickens out but yes y'all this is the beautiful chicken coop that my husband built you know he put it together i'm so proud of him y'all let me show y'all how unique he is look at the chickens uh resting bars he put those up <laughs> and that's the run and look you guys we have been getting maybe two three eggs a day but this is the fake eggs that we put in here so the chickens can roost yeah so they can uh lay their eggs over in these nesting boxes and so far it is working y'all we had uh, received the egg last night, and I was excited. So you could tell the chickens, they've been in here. Those are the wooden eggs that are in there. It just helps encourage them to lay the eggs in the nesting boxes. 
But yeah, we put the pine shavings on the floor. And he's been finished with this coop about a week. Um, we we're waiting on the back order of um, parts because when the chicken coop came in, the box was open and it was missing some parts. So he just jerry rigged something for the closure for the door. And he uh, made it work, y'all. He made it work. But I'm going to show y'all the little chickadees. These are the little chickadees. They all so cute, but y'all, only two of them belong to me in the cage. The rest of my friend, she also ordered a chicken coop and a run, and she's putting it together. Y'all, we on it. We chicken mamas. She's putting her chicken coop together, and I just have her uh, baby chickens over here because she spent a lot of money for this breed. It's called Chanticleer. They originated in um, Canada and they can withstand the cold and what I did is I put them in here she's she's putting her chicken coop up hopefully this weekend they'll be finished but these are very expensive little chickies and I um, she's gonna give me two for babysitting them but y'all look at this they're called chanticleers and they're so so cute but this is my was my big chickens runs they're hens now that's why we got the bigger cage i only have five you know and the barred rock which is that that brown bird over there uh he's mine he's mine he's the last of my litter but she's gonna give me two of hers for uh babysitting them and hopefully she'll have her coop up this week but see in this cage you see they got a, a rooster bar and i just made something mixture so they can have something to stand on but y'all here are all my girls this is it for us we have five raise them remember we have gracie we traded her for two roosters and one of our meat chickens, uh, the last one, the big girl, we traded her. So we only have these five. This is These are our original chickens. Our original chickens that became hens. So these are ours. Now these right here, they're my friends. But I'm going to get two of hers. And I'm so excited to have a Chanticleer. I have never had a Chanticleer chicken. And I'll put the, um, how you spell the name up on the screen, you guys, so you will see, uh, in case you want to look this breed up. But yeah, I'm excited. This was, uh, our original chicken run. They had a white top and I'm getting, I'm winterizing it. I'm putting another tarp on top and I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Here in Florida, you don't really have to have them like enclosed and closed it doesn't get it doesn't get like uh extremely cold here but just to keep the wind off of them i'm gonna put this tarp on this side of the fencing like this side of the fence like i'm gonna put the tarp up here and as you can see i already had a bunch of cords i'm gonna uh that back area that's open I'm gonna run a tarp down the back area so they the rain won't get them and they'll be at least a little more protected. Hey you guys, my husband said he had a surprise out here for me. I am gonna see what he did. Oh wow y'all. Oh wow, he did a wonderful job. He did a wonderful job. Is that okay? It's beautiful, honey. Thank you. You did a wonderful job. Okay. Hey girls, look at y'all new nesting boxes. I mean y'all roosting bars. Gracie, he made them just for you. Oh, that's nice very very nice 
He had him suspended from the ceiling for temporarily until he got some uh, pressure treated poles. And y'all, I love it. I love it. I love it. They so happy. Yep. It's beautiful. He did a mighty fine job, y'all. I'm loving it. Look how big the baby chicks have gotten within two days. Look how cute they are. They'll be leaving tomorrow. I'm going to be sad to see all these little feet go. Hey, you guys. We're going to y'all new chicken coop tomorrow. My friends almost finished putting up their coop. She said the only thing they have to put on is the tarp. And she'll be coming collecting her babies. No problem, because they noisy. <laughs> Look how cute. Good morning, you guys. Happy Sunday morning. You guys got my little basket. Y'all, we were so excited. We got one egg yesterday. We're going to see if we have any more eggs. In the nesting boxes, we, oh my goodness, we do have another egg. Oh wow, we have two. These are the fake wooden eggs. This encouraged the uh, hens to lay in these nesting boxes we built. Y'all look, oh I got an egg. Put it in my little basket. This our little egg basket. Oh you guys, and we got another one here. Look, oh wow, they're small kind of medium so I have another one of my chickens that's laying eggs y'all look they look different colors one's a little bit darker brown one's a little bit of pinkish uh, brown so I gotta see which one is laying but yes y'all we have two chickens that are laying eggs let's go check this side to see if anything in these nesting boxes We don't have anything over here. That's the wooden egg. Nothing over there. And nothing over there. Anything under there. So y'all, right now we have two chickens, two hens that are laying eggs. That's wonderful. That is wonderful. Let's see where the lady's at. Y'all, I also have to check around the yard because it rained a little this morning but the little baby chicks are doing fine yeah so they like to sit over here so make sure no eggs and thing over here i have to check to see which vent is really really moist i do that a little bit later after breakfast in church so I come home we'll see which hen is laying we know the black one is laying eggs but we have two eggs today so we need to see where this second one come from because chickens I mean hens they only lay eggs once a day so there is another one that's laying eggs hope is my big grace we'll check the vent later today and we'll see Alright you guys, we'll go in and have our eggs for 